Chung Ha, I can't believe I'm finally meeting you. How how are you doing, Chung Ha? <laughs> Hi, Jojo. It's fine. Nice to meet you. I mean, I'm very excited these days. I mean, I have two new songs ready to go. I see a dog walking around by your feet. You got to tell yeah. me his name. Give me, give me. Who's this song? Hambi, Hambi, hello, Ble. Hambi, you want to say hi? Say hi to Jojo. Hi. Hi. She's with us right now, and my my little baby's right there. If you want to say hi to her too. I love that so much. Oh my she's god. She's right here. Oh. <laughs> I know she's so small. Arrow to the heart. Just. Oh. God, look at that little cutie. <laughs> my other dog, my, Bambi's going to be walking around, so. <laughs> hey, what part of the, like, whereabouts in the world are you right now? I'm in Seoul right now. Gotcha. All right, mm -hmm. first uh, new music in about a year and a half. Describe your excitement for this this new uh, era you're about to jump into. What can you say about the excitement surrounding what's about to happen here? <laughs> I'm very excited, but also nervous at the same time. A whole new genre I'm just experiencing, and of course I wanted to be adventurous, but I didn't thought it'd be this new. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just excited, nervous, and just can't ready to get all the response. I can imagine. And the new, it's a, it's a new sound. Can you describe this new sound of sorts? Well, how can you put, I know it's hard to describe these things verbally, but how, how do you describe this new sound? Any Min is very tricky to describe because um, right. as is, you, right. yeah. yeah, as you listen to it, as you go towards the end, there's like this guitar <laughs> string, just like plucking and it's really cool because I've never heard a sound kind of like that. And it adds up, the rhythm adds up as you go towards the end so that transition is very fun to listen to when it comes to any mini and i'm ready it's a very deep house vibe kind of song and they both have great bass <laughs> sounds in it yeah. they're very deep and strong so yeah yeah they're both amazing we were looking at some of the fan reaction when you put out the teaser video to uh, i'm ready and fans were posting things like you know mother and queen and <laughs> What is your reaction when you see fans showing you so much love? I and mean, that's got to be a rush, right? I mean, um, I, I, I can't thank them enough. I mean, I don't even know. I can't even find the right words to show my gratitude. I just want to say thank you, thank you so much. I'm very grateful. I know you guys been waiting so long for my comeback. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of mother and I became everyone's mother now. <laughs> <laughs> that was my reaction, first of all. <laughs> but I know what they what they're saying, so um, it's, it was fun to see and see in such a long time um, with all the reactions, and they're all getting excited about my new music. I'm very grateful. Speaking of uh, Eeny Meeny working with uh, Hong Jung from ATs, uh, did he? Yeah, no, no doubt. Uh, did he uh, join you in the studio? Did you guys email verses back and forth? I mean, how did how did the whole How'd you guys work together? So Hong Jung, I mean, of course, ATs, I, I, at the beginning of their career, I used to listen to their music. I mean, their performance was too amazing. I mean, <laughs> jaw dropping, of course. I was always interested in um, collaborating with ATs because they're so empowering and energetic. And then when I got, when I heard any mini, there was a rapping part and I was like, no, I can't rap no more. <laughs> Because that's not my expert and I can't, you know, I just needed that unique taste, <laughs> unique touch in, in any mini. So it comes out that I have a mutual acquaintance. So I asked my friends to ask him if it was okay for me to contact him. And then I, more vision contacted um, KQ, label label, and then artist to artist. I asked him if he was okay to collaborate with me and all that. And he was very positive and their response were right away. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm just excited. He definitely elevated the whole song with his unique touch. The only touch that a captive could give. <laughs> so yeah, I thank him very much. Yeah, he's he's a yeah. great dude, and I'm a just like you. I'm a fan of ATs as well. And th this whole thing, this the Eeny Meeny works with the two of you guys so well. So congrats, congrats on that for sure. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, I I read that you want to collab with artists from around the world. As you say that, I'm trying to I'm 
I'm thinking who, like, is there someone you are looking at in particular? Like, who would you love to collab with? Or is that just a random statement? Like, I want to collab with people, but nobody in mind. <laughs> of course, I'm open to everyone right now, anyone. <laughs> but in particular, I've always wanted to collaborate with Sam Smith, if it's possible. <laughs> I mean, wow, yeah. yeah, I love what they do. I love what they do and what they try to embrace in so many artistic ways. So I would love to collaborate with Sam Smith one day. <laughs> love that. Hey, um, are you working on a full length album, Chung Ha? Are we talking like a big body of music or maybe that's top secret? I don't know, but it's not specifically um, on the timeline yet. We are just trying to figure out uh, what should come first or should we really work more harder to finally release a full length album. But we're definitely planning with the album at the end of the year and we're um, figuring out some different musics that I could do, maybe like some remix coming. And so, yeah, we're going to have to see with that full length, but definitely an album. And how about a tour? I, I read that you've never had, well, clearly you've never had a solo concert before. Yeah. Uh, have you started, maybe, I don't want to get, I mean, I don't know what you can say or not. I am, I assume you're thinking about it. Uh, mm -hmm. But have you started planning any sort of details for an upcoming tour? Yeah, me and More Vision, of course, we, we know how fans are so eager to, you know, have that surprise news. And I know they're looking for that right now, but uh, right now we're prioritizing on developing more new songs because it's a new chapter of my career. I mean, I've, I had a beat um, and so uh, just navigating through new music and just constantly um, making my fans excited about the new music is our priority right now. And then of course, tour and concerts that's that's i'm eager also i'm waiting for my concert also so it's definitely going to be on the horizon just a, just a little bit <laughs> okay with that thought in mind uh maybe you're not to this yet but have you ever have you thought about whenever you do a th this solo tour i love concert intros you know the, the way the whole thing kicks off have you ever yeah, thought about yeah. how you wanted your show to kick off because i've got an idea that i'm I, have, I want to toss an idea at you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toss it. Toss it off. <laughs> and I've run this by a couple people. I think this is, and I'm, I'm a big Michael Jackson fan. I have been for quite a while. And I want to see someone almost with their own twist, take a piece of what he did and put it in. Look, okay, here's what I'm getting to. Michael Jackson, years and years ago, he he got what's, he, he it's called a toaster. Kind of like what Psy uses, you know, and they it shoots you from under the stage to the stage, right? right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're a crazy piece of equipment. I don't know how they work. They look scary. But if that's something you would do, shoot from the stage and then just uh -huh. and just stand there uh -huh. for about like a minute. And the crowd just go or however you however long you want and stand there for a good minute. And then oh. at some point, that's that's the Michael Jackson part. Then the part where you, your twist on it comes in. Like have like hair, like somebody from hair and makeup or, you know, maybe they're just acting like they're doing this. They're not really doing it, but like last second come like fix your hair, but you're standing st super still fixing your hair you know, and you're just, and people are going crazy. And then all of a sudden, all you guys, the hair and makeup people, which are secretly dancers, bam, you kick into something right there and the police oh. just loses it. So I hope I'm explaining this, you know, in my head, it's pretty clear. I'm saying it kind of crazy. But yeah. stage, stand up, hair, makeup, you're standing still, bam, all you guys break into, you know, whatever the first choreo is and off you go. Oh. What do you, is that, is that, what do you think? I think that's awesome. <gasps> that's great. <gasps> oh my God. That's so great. No, I mean, no, yeah, I mean, I hope you like that. <laughs> don't use it if no, you don't I want it. it. But, but. No, I love it. Really, really. I love it. And, um. I would love to uh, portray that kind of um, your idea into uh, my song, I'm Ready. Oh, because I'm Ready is, that's a great song to yeah. kick off. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's just perfect. Thank you. That, okay, just, you know, if, if you ever do that, I, I will, I, I'll just, I'll be screaming. I'll be screaming anyway. Cause, yeah, because like when you asked me that question, I was about to answer you. I haven't strategized anything specific yet, but I want to start with maybe I'm ready because it um, really shows my state of mind right now, current state of mind. And, you know, it really has that beat <laughs> to kick off on stage, to kick. And yeah, and then the idea you just gave me is just, I think it's just perfect songs are made to kick off the show and just the energy just i'm ready is that song i agree with you 100 percent. 
Hey, yeah. true, or, true or false, your, uh, one of your favorite snacks or your favorite snack is, <laughs> here's some random questions. Your okay. favorite snack is Flaming Hot Cheetos. Is yeah. that true? <laughs> yes, and I love bunions too. <laughs> Let me write that down. Eh, got that. Okay. When you, when I see you in LA, I'm gonna have a big old stack of flaming hot Cheetos for you. So I got Ooh, that. Yay. Um, <laughs> True or false? You do not have a skincare routine. You just drink lots of water and get plenty of rest. Is that kind of how you work it? True. But then um, I I can I think I can say this is a routine. But like a face mask once a day could help you before okay. you go to sleep. It could uh, make you moisturize and like fulfill your skin more and get ready for your next day. So I think that if I do have a routine, it'd be that. Okay, perfect. Hey, you lived in Dallas, I think uh, for about eight years when you were a kid. Um, yeah. Do you visit the US often or Dallas often or how, when's the last time you came back to the US? Um, the last time when I visited my my family was last year, May. As I take a break, I went back to my family and um, I visited my elementary school, middle school. <laughs> yeah, I, it, I had a lot of flashback memories. I had so much fun. It was my first time after I took my debut. So That's got to be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, I read something about you that uh, I got kind of excited about. And I'll tell you what I'm talking about here in a second. I read that you are very brave when you, when you visit abandoned and haunted places. Mm -hmm. Is that true? And what haunted places, where have you been? Yeah, I think I am. I, just, I feel like I, I am brave, but I feel like I don't want to go more like over-exaggerated so that I freak out my friends more. <laughs> I try to like stay calm. Okay, I'm scared too, but I don't want to freak you out. So I'm, I'm going to be the brave one here. So let's go in, <laughs> you know, like, um, and then when it comes to like gathering up and like, you know, chilling out, we sometimes play that haunted, you know, we sometimes love to haunt that haunted places. So, like, we dare each other to go in there and sometimes, you know. <laughs> so that was when I think I was quite brave as a young girl. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the, here's the thing about me that you probably don't know, but I am just obsessed with the paranormal. Ghost and haunted houses. I have a podcast called Paranormalish, which I talk to people who've had these paranormal encounters. And it's a year-round yeah. thing for me. Uh, have you ever had a, something you would consider like a, a paranormal encounter or have you had a ghost encounter? I, I don't think I've never met a ghost before because I'm more of a realistic person. I would be like, uh, I'm too tired. Maybe I'm just seeing things because I'm tired, you know? <laughs> I wouldn't freak out because it's like, oh, I think it's a ghost. I wouldn't go like that. Yeah, so not for me. I don't think so. Not yet. <laughs> well, sh should you happen to stay in a, a hotel, because some of these hotels you're going to stay in on tour and your travels and whatnot, some of them unknowingly will be haunted. If you happen to have an encounter, please make a mental note of it. And next time we talk, please oh, let me know. I will. I will. Okay, I'll let you know. <laughs> Chung Ha, final, final question, message to your fans. What would you like to say to them? To my hearts um thank you i like i said i don't know how to show my gratitude all into words i love you guys thank you for supporting me uh through every step i take thick and thin i can't thank you enough but i'm, re I'm back here back on track to share uh to share my stories with music and i hope you'll be there along the way <laughs> thank you it's a real pleasure to uh, to meet you, Chung Ha. Oh, my daughter, Sophie, she's not here, but she said to tell you hello. She she couldn't be here today, but she says hi. She thinks you're awesome. And oh, uh, she can't wait to meet you someday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say hi for me, too. Thank you. Hi, Sophie. Will do. Will do. All right. Hey, uh, uh, you have a great day uh, or a great night, whatever that is. And uh, and I, I can't wait to see you in L.A. at some point. It's a pleasure to meet you, okay? Oh, yeah, it was a pleasure to meet you. Bye. Right, bye, you guys.